video, I'm going to show you two different ways to add fonts to all of your Adobe Creative Cloud applications. The first way is going to be using Adobe Creative Cloud itself. So whether you are using the desktop app or you're online using the website, make sure you're signed into your account. And then all you have to do if you're on the website is go to all your apps. And if you're in the desktop app, it looks the same. You're just going to go over here to fonts. When you click on it, it's going to pop up a new window either way or open up a browser and a window like this is going to come up. Just click OK. And if we look here, we have a whole bunch of things to kind of sift through. The first thing we're going to look at is our view. So you can have a list view, which is what I'm seeing right now, or you can switch to grid view if you want to see it like this. If you look over here, sample text, this little drop down, you can just select one of their presets. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog will show up as the example for all of the fonts, or you can type your own thing. So if you have a specific title or something that you want to see, just type it in and then you can see what it looks like with every single font that they have. If you need to increase or decrease your text size, just go right here and you can change how they're sorted. So between featured or by name, so in alphabetical order or newest. So if you've been in here a bunch and you just want to see what the new ones are, then switch to newest. If we look over to the left, you can see that these are all the filters or ways to sort your fonts so that you're not looking at all 1,981 font families at once that exist in Adobe fonts. So if you click on one, let's say mono here, you can see that it drops down to 40 font families instead. So if you like that look, then click on that and it will eliminate all the other ones that obviously don't look like that. Down a little bit lower, you can see their recommendations for, let's say you have a heading. They have some recommendations that maybe look better for headings and ones for paragraphs. And then down here are your properties. So if you know you want a fat font that looks like that, then it'll just show the fat ones. If you want it to be uh, narrow though, then click on this and you can see we're only down to three. And let's say you want it to be all caps then really we are down to one font left and that's the one that you pick. So once you have a font that you like, then all you have to do is click on here to view family and it'll take you to the page of that family. And you can see that there's three fonts actually that are attached to this mono 45 headline. We only saw the super bold one, but there are three other versions. So if you want to just activate all of them, then go up here and just slide this over to activate all. But if you just want that bold one, then just slide this one over to activate that font. And you can see right down here, the font Mono 45 Headline Bold was activated. Okay, so once you've activated it, now when you go to Photoshop or Premiere or whatever Adobe Creative Cloud software application you are using, it will automatically be added to your fonts. So let's look at this test text. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna try and scroll down to that mono 45 that it was. So if we look down here, mono 45 headline right there. And we can just see that right here, that's where we just selected bold, but if we would have added all fonts, so let's just go back really quick and, and do that instead. So let's activate the other ones as well. So you've activated two fonts from this and they were activated. If we go back into Photoshop, and try this again, we're gonna see immediately light and regular were also added to Photoshop. Back in Adobe Fonts, there's a few other things to take note of, like you can clear your filters to reset all of these. You can click default to jump it back to where it started. And up here, there's my Adobe Fonts. When you click on that, you can see that these are all the fonts that you have already added. And then up at the very top, besides browse fonts where we were, we can go to font packs. In there, there's a bunch of pre-packaged fonts based on certain themes. When you click on a pack to view the pack, then it takes you to a bigger layout. It shows you all the fonts that are part of that pack. And then all you have to do is go down here and you can activate for 180 days. Now it says font packs expire from your account after 180 days, but then you can just select them again as often as you need them. So it's not like it's a subscription or anything that ends or you gotta pay for it. 
It's still free. It's still the exact same fonts, but now just packaged together based on a similar theme. The second way to add fonts would be to use a free website font downloader. So some examples are Defont and 1001 free fonts. On Defont, you just find the one that you want. So they again, they have categories that you can sift through. You can just scroll through and see examples. And when you find one that you like, so let's say this uh, sweet lavender one, you can just go to download and you can see here it's free for personal use. So just take note of what they allow you to use the font for. But when you click download, your regular downloading scenario will pop up. I'm going to go save as and I have on my desktop, I have a folder called assets and fonts and I just save it in there and it's going to be a zip folder for this one. So click save. Then when you click open or you go to that folder and find it to open it, you're going to see some different options in there. Don't really worry about the read me. Click on the other one here. So if I double click on that, you're going to see some of the examples and different things. And all you have to do is click install. It will install onto your computer. And then you should be able to go into Photoshop or whatever you're using. And that font will be ready to go. Sweet Lavender. So that's basically it. That's how you add new fonts to all the applications in Adobe Creative Cloud at once. Every single program is going to automatically have those fonts ready to go for you.